G'day guys, we've got a question today where we're going to have to simplify this particular fraction here. Now the way I'm going to go about doing this is using index laws. And what I'll do is, I'll, as I'm going, I'll explain the index law that I'm using in every particular sort of step. So the first thing we're going to do guys is we've got 1 divided by or 1 over this fraction here. Now the way that we're going to start is we're going to use the fact that division is simply multiplication of the reciprocal. So what I can do is I can say, well, 1 divided by a over b is the same as saying 1 times b over a. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go straight in and say, well, this is going to be equal to 1 times 3c cubed over negative 2b to the negative 2 all to the negative 4. So my next step, I'm going to multiply this negative 4 into the bracket. Now I'm going to use the distributive law as well as the fact that if I multiply indices inside brackets, I have to times the indexes together rather than add when we just multiply them together without brackets. So what I mean by that is for our distributive law, if we've got a times b, all to the n, this is going to be equal to a to the n times b to the n, as well as a to the n all to the m is equal to a to the n times m. So those are the two index laws we're going to use on this particular step. So what I do from here, guys, so I'm going to keep the numerator as it is, 3c cubed, and then on the denominator, I'm going to keep my negative 2 inside a bracket for a second, negative 2 all to the power of negative 4, and I'm going to have b to the power of negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. Great. So, from here, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fact that a number to a negative index is equal to 1 over that number to the positive index, or the reciprocal of that number, and take this negative 2 up to the top. So what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to have 3 times brackets negative 2 all to the power of 4 c cubed all divided by b to the power of 8. Great, now let's multiply out this bracket. What we can do from here guys is we can have this going to be equal to 3 times 2 to the power of 4. Well, we've got 2, 4, 8, 16 c to the power of 3 divided by b to the power of 8. And from here, guys, all we have to do is multiply our coefficients together, where we have 3 times 16 is going to be 48. c cubed over b to the power of 8. Now, that is our solution here, guys. So if we just go through what we did to get here, um, first of all, we noted that division is just simply multiplication by the reciprocal, and we took this fraction that we have in the denominator and flipped it or took the reciprocal of it and multiplied it by 1. That just made the 1 null and void and for the next step we could just leave it off. What we then did is we used the distributive law as well as the fact that when we multiply indices inside brackets, we have to multiply the indices as well. So what we did then is we multiplied the negative 4 into our bracket. We then used the negative indices index law, which says that if we have a base raised to a power of a negative index, that the positive index is simply the reciprocal of that. So we moved the two, negative 2 to the negative 4 up into the numerator. What we then did is then we took negative 2 to the power of 4 to make 16. We used the commutative property of multiplication just to insert the 16 in here and then multiplied out 3 times 16, which gave us 48 c cubed on b to the power of 8. So I think the hardest part about problems like this, guys, is just knowing when to do each of these index laws, and that only comes with practice. So if you have any questions with this problem, guys, please leave them in the comments section below. Um, I hope it helped, and if it did, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm only a new channel, so every like and every subscription really does help. Um, but again, guys, with problems like this, it only you only get good at it through practice. 
So if you bang your head against the wall enough times, the wall will eventually fall down. So can I recommend just practice, 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 and soon enough these sort of index problems will become just a walk in the park for you. So until next time, guys, um, keep practicing, but most of all, keep enjoying your maths. I'll see you soon.